Now, when I came up with a really simple recipe, I love it. Now, does that make me a bit lazy? No, it's not. It's just that when you're in a bit of a hurry and you really haven't got hours to spend prepping, you know, which I, I have done most of my life in restaurants, it is good to come up with something a bit simple, isn't it? And this one, now this is a crown of chicken, if you've never seen it. Now you can go into your poulter or your butcher and ask them to do that. All it is, is they've taken the Maryland off and they've chopped a bit of the backbone away from it. Actually, it's funny because, you know, when you talk about going and asking your fishmonger or your poulter or your butcher to do something for you, there was somebody the other day that said they wanted to stuff a sardine. Now, life is too short to stuff sardines. I love sardines, but it's a bit too short. Anyway, they said, ask your fishmonger to bone out your sardines. And they said, you'll need about three dozen. Now, can you imagine going there on a Saturday morning <laughs> saying to your fishmonger, can you just bone out three dozen sardines <laughs> I can imagine, and I can tell you what he'd say too. Anyway, we won't get into that. This is very simple. They'll do it in about two seconds flat and they won't mind doing it. So ask your poulterer or your butcher for a crown and if they don't quite know what you're talking about, take off the Marylands, which is, the Maryland is the combination of the thigh and the drumstick. So they take that off and then they just cut. Just have a look here. See, the cut about half of the backbone off. All right, so it's simple stuff. No one's gonna complain about doing that for you. Now we just put that into a nice heavy bottom tray and we add a few bits and pieces. First of all, I've got some lovely fresh oregano and I'm just gonna stuff that in there. Just add some extra flavor from, you know, it cooks from within. And we then add about a quarter of a, oh, I don't know about a quarter of a cup, a decent amount of olive oil. A few tablespoons. And to that we then add, now I'll get a spoon for this because my hands are covered in chicken. And we have to be very careful when we're using raw chicken. Decent amount of sea salt, freshly ground pepper, quite a bit of that. And some ground fennel. Now you can grind the fennel to seeds yourself, just toast them and grind them. We actually bought this from the market because there's a great shop there that does lovely herbs and spices and nuts and you know all those good things. So about a good teaspoon and half of that. And to that we then add these tomatoes. Now some nice small flavoursome tomatoes and we then just throw those in with any of the leftover oregano that's lurking around and a few garlic cloves which have been cut in half but not peeled and last but not least a few tablespoons of butter and we'll just put a little bit more salt there now that goes into the oven 180 degrees cook for about oh three quarters of an hour i've got some potatoes in here which i put in just some nice kipflers as you can see and we'll put those down the bottom i've just done those with oil and some seasoning and we'll put that chicken up there that chicken will take three quarters of an hour, I suppose. And then you take the chicken out, keep it warm because we'll, we'll want to cook down those tomatoes a bit because we want those to be jammy. That's the word, isn't it? So that they're all collapsed. But we'll worry about that later because first of all, we have to cook the blessed thing, don't we? <laughs> okay, my chicken's looking rather good. I've got some red wine vinegar here. I'll we'll put a little bit of that in with the tomatoes. I'm going to put those back on the heat. Just reduce that a bit. Chicken to rest is good. I'll just get rid of that crispy oregano. It's a herb I really like. I mean, the Greeks use it a lot. They tend to use just the, they use the dried version. I actually like the idea of it being fresh. Just take the skin off the garlic if that's possible. All right, what I will also do is a bit of bread. All will become apparent. I'm not making a sandwich, it's all right. Now this is optional, this piece of bread, but or toasted is actually, and you don't need to butter it. Because <laughs> there's gonna be some nice things going on. So the toast goes on there. Some of these lovely 
jammy tomatoes. I love the description. I really think that's a, a good description, don't you? <laughs> jammy, because they are jammy. Now there's enough there for two, because we've got two breasts coming off of a crown of chicken, but I'm only doing one. And to go with that, I've just got, as I showed you before, some lovely crispy kiflis, just with olive oil and a little bit of salt. Now that's, that's good tucker, guys. To go with that, we need a big, bold white wine. And I think nothing better than a French Chardonnay, which has got a bit of oak, a bit of wood. La Viette. And it'll go beautifully with this chicken, jammy tomatoes, kiflis. What more does a man need? <laughs>